welcome back to the channel today for you guys. I'm going to be teaching you how I made my DIY gymnastics spot. Let's get started. So this plywood I cut, um, my really specific measurement, just what I felt was necessary. If you would like, you can go the full length of these um, side boards, but I just cut what I wanted to. And so in the middle, right here, is a two inch thick by four feet long by four inches wide board right here. And then there's also one in the back. So where these cut off, um, where they end, I have a board there. And then the board in the back to hold these side boards together. And then there isn't one in the middle. And so that is why I put the plywood on top so that you don't have a hole stepping in and it's just a flat surface. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is the side pieces. So you're going to need six three feet by two inches thick by four inches wide. Um, uh, and each end cut at a 45 degree angle. So one here, one on the other side, and one in the middle. And that goes for the other side as well. And then um, this bottom baseboard is six feet by two inches high by six inches wide. And those are our base that holds up these supporters right here that connects to the main piece of wood. And then how I have mounted these uh, three feet boards to our main piece, I did four um, screws on each side. So four going to this main piece and then four going into our base for a total of eight screws on each leg. So when you're putting in these screws for all sides of these three, um, three feet boards, make sure you go in at an angle instead of straight down. Otherwise, your nails will poke through um, this board, this board, and through the bottom. Um, these screws, I used a three inch screw. All right, so right here, as you can see, it is at an angle which makes a 90 degree angle at from this part to the base. So this one, you can really guess how you would like it. You can have this board more further up, decrease your triangle here, or you can make this part go back down and make your triangle not as big. Um, I just did by the plywood there's some lines already pre in it and I just did it from there. I'm going to talk about these extension. This is optional you don't have to do it I just did it because otherwise this jiggled um, side to side and I didn't like that. So this is another three feet board by four inches wide by two inches thick so you don't necessarily need this one. Um, Alright, for these side extensions, these board is a um, three feet by four inches wide, two inches thick. This board right here is a four feet, four inches wide by two inches thick. Right here, I didn't use screws, I used nails so I can take this board out, supposedly not fully out because these are still these screws at the bottom are still in, and it's so I can um, pull the bar rod out and move it to different um, holes, so it's higher or lower, however I would like. These side extensions are optional though. Just know if you don't use them, your bar will shake side to side a lot. As for mounting, other than these nails right here, I also put some nails here. I recommend you using a 90 degree um, elbow bracket, but I did not have any, so I improvised and used um, two nails on either side and just screwed them in at an angle 
so that they would penetrate this um, six feet long board by six inches wide, two inches high. Now that we have completely talked about one side, you obviously need the double for both sides. So for the base, you are going to need two six feet long by six inches wide, two inches tall boards for your base. You're going to need one, two, three, four, um, three feet by four inches by two inches high at a 45 degree angle. Um, if you want front and back support, well, you need the front and back supports, but then also if you want your side extensions, you're going to need an additional um, four um, pieces. So you need two of them. Uh, you're going to need two of them, three feet by four inches wide, two inches high. Those both ends at a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to need two, four feet by four inches wide by two inches high um, boards that aren't at the ends at a 45 degree angle for a total of six boards total with the leg extensions if no leg extensions then you are just going to have four three feet long boards at a four all right now we're on to the side boards so these are, you're going to need two, four inches wide by four inches um, in depth. So four by four by, I did a eight feet, I believe. So they're eight feet long by four and four. So you're going to need two of them. And then you're going to need your bar. Um, I use a closet bar. It is a one and a half inch round um, closet rod. And how I got these boards right here um, to stay in place, the, my baseboards that are the six feet long, um, when I put them and these boards together at the bottom, I screwed in four screws, uh, making a, a square at the bottom, going up through this at the bottom. So four screws and four screws is eight screws. Um, and then also in these base in the middle, I did 90 degree brackets. Let me show you a closer look. Alright, so I have four screws at the bottom going upward into here so making a square and then also I did supports of 90 degree brackets um, you can use whatever 90 degree brackets you would like these are one inch by two inches um, four screws in each bracket on both sides so this front side this back side there's not any going this way for the leg extension though And then if you see on this side, I have a two inch by two inch and six screws going into these 90 degree brackets. Um, whatever you like, I had these to begin with and then I had to get some more and all we had were the thin ones. But you can either have thick ones or thin ones, whatever you prefer. Now we're on to the bar part. So you're going to drill holes to your bar around this. So you're gonna have a drill um, that drills a one and one half inch round circles um, so your rod can fit in the holes. So I have this level and then I have a higher level up here. And to eliminate the bar rotating, I put in a nail going through this bar and through the um, bar. So if I want to raise my bar, you're going to get a hammer. You're going to get a hammer and take this piece out. So now, since you don't have it, it's the bar rotates.
and that is not safe for any gymnast. And so if you are going to do it, make sure you have markers so you know where to put the nail. So there are my markers so I know where the hole is from the bar side. And then you just pull this out and put it into the higher hole up there and you have a higher bar. And then when you put it back in, you put the nail in place, obviously hammer it in so that it penetrates the bar. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you make your own gymnastics bar at home. Um, if you do decide to make it, send me pictures on my Instagram, DM me at, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!